My name is Margaret O'Brien, and I'm five years old. Oh, goodness, I'm all alone. You're not alone, Margaret, honey. No, sweetheart, you're not alone. And we in the United States are not alone in the world. We try to live alone, isolated from the rest of the world, and hope to remain unmolested. We tried it. It didn't work. Along came Pearl Harbor, and we can't go it alone now. We need the United Nations, and the United Nations need us. There's England, Greece, China, the Netherlands, Yugoslavia, and Norway, fighting France, Australasia, Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Russia. Yes, and it is not enough for us to send across the seas the weapons for victory. We must also send the necessities of life to those suffering victims of Axis barbarism in whose breasts the flame of freedom still burns so fiercely. To these, our heroic allies, we must give food, clothing, medicines, everything, so that they can grow strong enough to rebuild themselves. And I think the audience would like to hear from you. Well, I'm thinking of the children, the sick and ragged and starving children of the United Nations. They're going to be the partners of our children in the future. And we mustn't handicap our own children by giving them partners who've been weakened and crippled by suffering which means we want money for the United Nations right here in this theater, now. Please give all you can, not from the bottom of your pockets, but from the bottom of your heart. Give a lot of money, won't you? Because what you give has to be divided up into so many relief funds for so many different countries. Please. <laughs> is a motion picture trailer. Running time, one minute, 50 seconds. You've seen many of them. Usually, they're to show you scenes from a new picture. This one is different. You're seeing a reenactment of a true life tragedy. On a motion picture set, tragedy, of course, is make-believe. The actors can walk away from it because it never really happened to them. In our own lives, we can't. We can only try to prevent it. Now, the tragedy in point is tuberculosis. Thousands of Americans died of TB last year, needlessly. These TB victims were unlucky because TB can be prevented. And here's how. Each of us can help cut ourselves right out of the TB picture with Christmas seals to fight tuberculosis. Now, no collection is made in any theater for Christmas seals they're mailed in a letter from your tuberculosis association to your home. And in the privacy of your home, you decide if you want to contribute. I hope you will. And why? Because progress in the fight against TB, since the very first Christmas seal was sold, has met a saving of more than eight and one half million lives. Now that's a lot of people to save from the tragedy of tuberculosis. To them, and to many of us, TB may never seem real. But to someone, every six minutes, every day, 
Tuberculosis is something that is suddenly happening. Now, it could be any one of us, poor, rich, race, age, or sex, make no difference. These do. Answer your Christmas seal letter today. Thank you. Jack Lemon. These Christmas packages are the darndest things to do up, aren't they? At least they are for me. I guess it's just one more thing that needs a woman's touch to do just right. But you don't have to be an expert to add the perfect finishing touch. Christmas seals. You can be as good as the next man at this and be proud of it, because Christmas seals are more than just pretty decorations. Every Christmas seal we use on our packages and on our Christmas cards, too, adds real meaning to our gifts and good wishes. Christmas seals help protect every one of us, every man, woman, and child, from tuberculosis. And with TB striking one American every seven minutes, it's up to all of us to fight back with Christmas seals. So, even if you're not an expert at wrapping presents, you can be proud of your job when you use Christmas seals to fight tuberculosis, to save lives. So answer your Christmas seal letter today, huh? something kind of important to talk to you about. You know, in hundreds of cities, the Marine Corps Reserve, through its Toys for Tots campaign, provides Christmas toys for thousands of youngsters who might otherwise be forgotten. Now, you can play Santa Claus to some child this Christmas just by buying an extra toy and sending it to the Marines for the Toys for Tots campaign. Thank you so much. Oh, Merry Christmas. The sand in this hourglass is rapidly running down. And while there is still time, let's help the unfortunate victims of muscular dystrophy. Please volunteer to call on your neighbors and ask them to contribute to the march on muscular dystrophy. To volunteer, send your name and address to me, Jerry Lewis, Post Office Box 950, Hollywood 28, California. Thank you. <laughs> 